Hey everyone, I'm Tommy Thompson. This is AI in Games, and we're just wrapping up the very first AI in Games conference. I'm exhausted. The team have put in an absolute monumental session putting this event together today. We're going to roll through a bunch of the footage, let you see what it was like here on the day, and uh, yeah, I'm just going to stop talking and let the camera do the work. On Friday, November 8th, after weeks of preparation, the very first AI and Games conference took place at Goldsmiths University in London, and I'm pleased to say it was a smashing success. Tickets sold out weeks in advance, and the vibe on the day was really fun. It was just great to see so many people from across the games industry, as well as our AI and Games community, and having them all come together in the one place. It was an idea that emerged in a relatively short period of time. After voicing our collective displeasure at having to travel all the way to San Francisco to meet other game developers at GDC, myself and my co-conspirators decided enough was enough and we were going to do something about it. Fans of the channel will know that this year my focus was on running the Kickstarter for Goal State, which has gone pretty well, might I add? But as we continued the discussions into the early summer, I realised this was going to be the big thing AI and Games delivers in 2024 hosting the first industry event for the game AI community in Europe since 2017. In July of this year, we had no budget, no speakers and no venue. Just a bunch of super enthusiastic people determined to make this thing happen. And so it's been a crazy journey from early August through to November. The response to our announcement was fantastic, as we had developers from studios all over the world wanting to be a part of the event. What we hoped would attract a decent number of people wound up selling out with weeks to go and leaving us with the challenge of meeting their expectations. Fortunately, we were spoiled by the quality of the talks and speakers who turned up to support the event. We had the big AAA games turn up, with Tim Johan Verve and David Speck from Gorilla talking about the AI of Horizon Forbidden West, and Vladislav Jancevic giving the AI postmortem on Warhammer 40k Space Marine 2. Plus, we had experimental work from the likes of Sam Devlin of Microsoft Research, Jaden Travnik from Sony AI, Monica Villanueva Elegas from EA's Seed Division, and Rachel Dong from Riot Games. But also, we had the technology players involved too, with Martina Johansson and Quentin Thelod from Unity, Andrei Muratov and Arya Subramanyam from Amazon Web Services, and Brendan Mulcahy from Epic Games. Speaking personally, I couldn't be happier with how the day turned out. Sure, there was 101 little things that could have gone smoother, but critically the mood and vibe on the day was just fantastic. It was great to catch up with so many people who I hadn't had the pleasure of either meeting in person or simply had not bumped into over the years, given Covid and the general state of events in the industry. Plus, it was great to chat with so many new people as well, who of course I'd never met before. While our talks are critical to making these events a success, for me seeing so many people I know from across the industry connecting either for the first time or after a long gap made it truly special. This is why you run an event like this, to allow people to get to meet and spend time together. Because critically, that's how a lot of work flourishes in this industry, by chatting with and learning from others and finding ways to collaborate on ideas. Thanks once again to everyone who came along and I hope you had a great time. Plus, of course, a special thank you to all of our sponsors, AWS, Creative Assembly, Riot Games, Kinetics, Arm, and Bitpart AI, whose support helped us put the whole thing together. I really appreciate the faith everyone placed in myself and the rest of the organisers in building something new for the European community, and it drove us to really give it our all. And of course, on that note, my love to everyone on the organisational team, Dugu Chakmak, Gabriel Robert, Matthias Siemensmeyer, Alan Zaccone, George Osborne and Sally Kevin, plus to Nicole and the rest of the volunteer team and everyone else who helped us get this thing off the ground. I couldn't be prouder of putting on an event like this that had my company's logo all over it. And believe me, that was weird. Seeing all of our organisers and volunteers wearing AI and Games t-shirts properly weirded me out at one point before it all kicked off. I had to take a moment to kind of reorient myself when you realise that this silly little YouTube channel that I largely started by accident has led to something like this. What a fantastic way to celebrate the 10th anniversary of all things AI and games. 
For everyone else who couldn't attend, don't worry. As you can see, we recorded everything, and you can expect to see all of the talks appear on AI and Games starting in January of 2025. Plus, planning and preparations for doing it all over again have already begun. Our goal is to expand the event into something bigger while keeping the vibes that were so great throughout the day. So watch this space as the AI and Games Conference will return in late 2025 and we'll be sharing the news of where and when in the spring of next year. That's it. We're done. I think it's safe to say it's been kind of successful. You all right? I'm you okay? great, thanks. It's been fantastic. One for me? Yeah. yeah. We'll see you all next year, right? Bye! Stay safe, take care, we'll be back. <laughs> <laughs>